Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. I know it's about two, mi two minutes early, but I thought I'd jump on and say hello and make sure everything's working and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying. So it looks like there's one person waiting. Hi to whoever that is. Let me get some water. Tons of dust on my computer. And uh, yeah, we'll just wait a couple minutes. Let me make sure everything's looking good. My dog, who's been ignoring me all day, has now run in here and decided that he needs me. He needs my attention immediately right now for I'm not sure what, because he was laying on the bed for the last, you know, two or three hours, completely ignoring me. But, you know, it's uh, it's imperative that I have his, that, you know, I give him attention right now. That's kind of his, the way he goes. So. I am literally surrounded by patterns. There's so many patterns over here. I can hardly wait to get this started because it's crazy. What a crazy story this was too with these patterns. So um, we got about another minute to go. Hope everybody's doing well. It is um, a beautiful, sunny, but chilly day here in New Jersey. I'm really glad I scheduled this today because the natural light is so nice. I mean, I can see it on the screen. It's so much nicer than when I have to fiddle around with the um, ring light and everything else. It's just, it's so much nicer to look at patterns in this nice natural light. So it's officially three o'clock. Let's get started. So the reason I called this <laughs> the leaky basement pattern unboxing <laughs> is because I ordered uh, it's like 100, she estimated it's 162. I think it's closer to 165, 164, something like that. Patterns from a woman who was cleaning out her mom's house. Got a great deal on them. They ended up being, um, I haven't worked it out exactly, but it's around 50 cents a pattern. So I was very excited. Now, when the package arrived, she had sent them in this big box and the entire side of the box was split open. It was a um, vacuum cleaner box. Um and the entire side was split open, but I could see a black bag and she had been smart enough to put everything in a black bag. When I started to look at the patterns, uh, because I decided to pull them out of this box because the box was seriously falling apart. Like it, it was just, it was awful. Um, I started to notice patterns that look like they were moldy. So let's look at the moldy patterns first and get them out of the way so I can explain this to you. Um, they're, they're going to be hard to see. I'm going to warn you right now because they are moldy. So I don't know if this happened in root, which I don't think it did because you can see, see how bad that is. There's several in here that are even worse than that. Here, here's a perfect example of one. And it's a shame. See, look at this. This is an unfolded pattern. I mean, unused pattern, unused pattern, still factory folded. I don't know if I can salvage them. Here's this one. Look, there's damage on it from when I was trying to get it out of the, the um, envelope. But you can see, can you see all this mold and mildew on the side? I don't know what I can do with patterns like this. I don't know if I can save them. I'm going to try. I've gone through and found a couple that look like a, they, they had minimal, kind of minimal damage. But then there was stuff like this. I mean, can you see how much black mold is on that? And... So I guess, oh, see, this one's really bad. Look at all that. And it's a shame because some of them are really cute. See, like this one, this is another one. It's still factory folded. It's a shame. I just don't think I can sell it. Same with this Daisy Kingdom. Now, this Daisy Kingdom, actually, this isn't horrible. If you look at the back, it's not as bad. So we'll see. I'll see what I can salvage. This one was cut. It's not a big deal. This one was also cut. But I mean, look at how bad that is. So I don't think that this happened in root. I think that this happened before. Here's another one. Look, this this is some type of a home decor pattern. I know it's hard to see some of them still factory folded. So I will try and figure out what I can do with these. Um, this one I already have. Here's another set. This one. Oh, see, this one has transfers. But look, look what happened to the transfers. So, you know, I'll have to see. I may be able to sell them as wounded birds. I've talked about wounded birds before on my channel. 
Um, you know, there are patterns that I find that are missing things. Um, this one's also a cut pattern. This one, see, this one's like one of the worst. You can really see how bad it is. Look at that. I mean, and this is no big deal. This is a cut pattern. It's one of those halter tops. It's not the end of the world. This one, though, it's a shame. Look at how cute this was. It was cut, but it's cute. It's another, like, little girl's pattern. This one, actually, I looked at this one a little bit earlier. It was cut, but can you see how someone put it in here? And so it's actually not as bad as some of the, uh, some, as some of the, uh, the other ones. Look, tripping over my words. I'm going to put that in with the cut patterns because I might be able to save that one. The problem is I have to worry about whether someone who has a mold allergy gets these. Like, I mean, look at this one. This one's just awful. Uh, this one, too. Really cool Vogue pattern. Has transfers, but the transfers got... And then, look, uncut. So what do you do? You know? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell them as wounded birds, but I'm going to have to put in some type of a disclaimer that you shouldn't you shouldn't deal with these patterns if you have a mold allergy. They're obviously could be really dangerous to someone who has a mold allergy. This one is, yeah, it's just like a suit. See, and some of them were really cute. It's really a shame. I mean, I think I have two of these, so I'm not worried. This is um, actually a pattern for a doll, for doll's clothes. So but then there's stuff like this. Like this isn't horrible. This is still, let me take a look. This one's still folded. Still factory folded. The envelope's in very bad shape. And see, here's the thing. See, can you see that discoloration on the pattern? Oh, yeah. But you might actually still be able to use this pattern. So I'll have to think about it. But there weren't, I mean, there was this many of them, as many as I'm showing you. Oh, look how cute that is. Isn't that a shame? And then, oh, this one broke my heart. Or look, it's a gunny sack. It's a gunny sack. And let me see if it was cut. No. Oh, yeah, that sucks. It's an uncut gunny sack. Oh, yeah. It's for this insanely ruffly dress. And unfortunately, yeah. Oh, well, that's why I said we'll, we'll put them as wounded bird status because there's some gunny sack person out there that's going to still want this pattern. She's not going to care about the envelope. And then some men's patterns. This is another doll clothes patterns. Oh, I love this one. Hold on. It has something weird stuck to it. It was the go anywhere men's patterns featuring shorts and a three-piece suit and a golfing outfit. Yeah. So that was cute. So yeah, that was kind of a bummer, but what are you going to do? Stuff happens. Um, you know, obviously if she had to disclose, if she had disclosed this, I would have told her not to send these, but I get it. You know, she's sending me everything. She said she was cleaning out her mom's house. That's what she was doing. All right. So this ooh, is the cut patterns. So I'm going to show you the cut patterns. Here's one. We actually just saw this. This one is, I might try and salvage that one. That one got wet. Here we go with these. So a lot of kids patterns more than I originally thought there were unfortunately um, this pattern this super creepy pattern <laughs> it's really really creepy and you can see some critter got to it on the bottom right you can when you see this see the tiny tiny little bites that is critters that is bugs that got into it very creepy though right but I, I'm sure I can sell. I'll sell it to somebody that wants a creepy clown costume for Halloween. This one I already have. So now I have two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a couple of these. These are weird. I don't remember gap patterns. I don't know if anybody else does. But, yeah, it's a pattern by the gap. Which may actually be factory folded. No, it's cut. Okay. Kids pajamas. There's the line drawings. I'll try and remember to show you guys the line drawings. This pattern, which I also already have already. This doesn't have line drawings on the back. This one is, oh wait, is this cut? Oh no, this isn't cut. Okay, so I now have two of these that, oh no, it is. There we go. 
there's the pieces right there. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Ooh, I think that mold's getting to me now. Um, I already have one of these that hasn't sold. So now I have a cut one. Oh, well. That's the thing. Every time I buy a pattern lot, all right, this is just completely empty. Oh, no, it's not. All right, I'm sorry. It's not completely empty. Oh, I see. I took this out because it felt like it was uncut, but it was cut. So I just took the pieces out. Now I have to figure out how to put them back together. <laughs> Great. This is another one I already have. I recognize this one. It's little girl's pajamas. I mean, it's cute. I guess they're, are they unisex? No, they're definitely little girls. They're frilly. This, which again, I also took out of the package. Oh, you know what? I think this might have been missing the directions. And then the cabbage patch. This is another one I already have. Thought that this was uncut, but it wasn't. It's cut. It's amazing to me how many patterns I get that one piece is cut. And I'm not really sure what that's all about. In fact, I just put up um, kind of the last of those patterns from the last haul. That big one I got from Goodwill. And there were a bunch of patterns that had only one piece that was cut. And one of them, they had only cut the front skirt piece of this whole like three piece suit set. And I was kind of like, well, why do you cut only one skirt piece? I'm not kidding you. It was like piece number four was the front of the skirt and piece number five was the back. Piece number five was still folded and uncut. Piece number four, which was the front of the skirt, was cut. It was really, really strange. I, I you know, and I've found things like I've opened up patterns and the only piece that's cut is a pocket. <laughs> because that shows you how desperate women are to have pockets in their in their dresses. You know, they're willing to open up a pattern and take just the pocket piece out so that they can have a pocket in another, you know, pattern. This one, this is another one I already have. Some of these, uh, well, we'll see. These will go on the, oh, and we already saw this one. You know, the thing with the kids' patterns is they can kind of go on the back burner for me. Even though I must say, stuff stuff like this especially, I think I'm going to do a sale of anything that is remotely Easterish or could be worn by a flower girl. I think I'm going to do that while I'm recuperating. I'm going to have a lot of downtime, so I'm going to be able to sit and look at my... Um, my Etsy shop, by the way, I saw this one. This is actually, this has been cut. This is actually pretty cool. It's like all the seat cover and everything. Um, I think I'm going to spend that on my, that time on my Etsy shop going through and pricing all of the little girls dresses <coughs> down to like four bucks or something just to clean them out. It's really cute. I did notice, unfortunately in this haul, that the majority of like these cool vintage 70s, even some of these 80s patterns are cut, which is okay. Because as I've said, ad nauseum, I can usually sell even the cut versions of the vintage patterns. I know this is so cool. This is, is this the one that's maternity? Yes, this is maternity. And I was like, this is the coolest maternity outfit ever. And see, this is this is a perfect example. I'll sell this. As long as all the pieces are in here, I'll clean it up. I'll put it in a uh, plastic slip. And somebody will buy that because that's a super cool maternity outfit, you know? This woman, I didn't ask the woman that I bought these from what her mother did but I'm wondering if she was another home and home economics teacher. And the reason I say that is a lot of the pat the patterns, you'll see there's names written on them. And I'm wondering Ooh, if they're student patterns. Okay. That fell all over the floor. So I'm just going to show you this and I'll clean that up later. Well, that sucks. Oh, uh, see, this is the kind of stuff I wish was uncut, but it's not, but that's all right. I can sell it. Somebody will buy it. The cool vintage stuff, somebody will always buy. Look at this. Speaking of cool vintage, right? Totally bitching. Mini skirts and 
bell bottoms. There's two of these by Brooke Shields. Um, it's always funny to me when I find Brooke Shields patterns. You know, that, that era, Brooke Shields, Palmer and Plush, nice. Some of these patterns may look familiar because I'm pretty sure that I already have them. Not just the kids' patterns, these patterns, these grown-up patterns. Oh, I was so sad that this was cut. Talk about a pattern that I could sell right away. This is right at the top of the list. In fact, so much so, I'm going to put it over here because tomorrow I'm going to count it and put it together and put it up on Etsy oh, and stuff like this. So this is like your basic, what you would call a sloper pattern, sloper or block pattern. And it's a basic pattern that you can use to then make several kinds of dresses. You can change the sleeves, you can change the um, necklines, whatever. And it's so cool, isn't it? We'll put that one aside too, that one. Oh, this one feels factory folded. Why did I put it in the cut? Let's see, because it's a suit. Factory folded. Factory folded. Aha, cut pieces. Here we go. Cut pieces here. All right. Since we got some other ones out, we'll put it over here with these. We'll get rid of it. It's cute. All right. This one. I thought this was really cool. It's a max, just a maxi skirt or a midi. Just a line. Wish it was my size, but it's not. Oh, wait. What is it? Size 46, waist 44. <clears throat> we'll put that aside. We're going to look at that one because I don't have a 44 waist. My waist is smaller than that. But that's interesting. So cool. All these mod dresses. Oh, my box is falling over. Excuse me for a moment while my box falls over. Like dresses like this. And again, like I was saying before, I can sell these. This is the kind of dress that even cut I can sell because it's so freaking cool. Look at the front of that. How cool that is. And then here, uh, and a butterfly collar. Oh, and this, so cottage core, so hardcore cottage core. Yeah, we're gonna put this one aside too because I can probably sell that one. So we'll, we'll count that one. Here's another one. See, a lot of these feel like one piece was cut or one view was cut because they feel factory folded, but they're not. So, ah. Oh. So cute, so cute. The trapeze dress, this cute little butterick like jumper thing. And wow, it has a really big skirt. Look at those skirt pieces, it's a lot. Uh, Mr. Dog, what do you need? Why are you standing up? Yeah, look at that, those bell bottoms. Ah. Oh. Love this. <laughs> and then the omen pattern. It do doesn't it look like one of these kids is named Damien, right? <laughs> All right. This. And this. Oh, an extra carefree pattern. It's another one I think we're going to put over here because I can, I can probably sell that right here. And this one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's just the shirts and the, um, oh, this is actually two pieces. Okay. See, you can see it on the back. That's actually two pieces. How cool is that? And this was Rachel's. This was Rachel's pattern. That's why I think she's a home ec teacher. Oh, yeah. And there were a couple of Vogue, a couple modern Vogues that were in here. I'm wondering... I should I should contact the woman and ask her if her mom was a home ec teacher because I'm wondering how long she was a home ec teacher. Um, when we get into the patterns that are uncut, you'll notice a lot of them are like right up to like the early 2000s. Uh, here's another one. Yeah, it's a shame. Look at that. Oh, with the hat. Yeah, we're going to put that on the side too. 
you can notice I'm triaging some of these. Oh, and see, look, here's another one. I think this, I'm trying to save this one because it was so cool. Let's look at it. Can you see how cool it is? So I'm going to see if I can save it. I'm, whoop, I'm thinking that if someone really wants it, they're not going to care about the envelope so much. They're going to care about, you know, the actual pattern. Here we go. Another one that I might have to deal with right away because it's so cool. All right. Gap patterns for adults, right? Really weird to me. Don't remember gap patterns. You know, comment, give me a heads up if you remember gap patterns, because I don't. <laughs> like, uh, the original auth leisure. <laughs> I love this. I My mom literally had that outfit. I'm not sure if she had it in blue, but I remember that. There's the headband. I remember that headband. I definitely remember. And she had the wrist things. <laughs> okay, sorry. I shouldn't laugh at my mommy. Um, okay, this is, look at this. It's a bathing suit and cover up. And I was like, wow, and it's designer fashion, but I don't know who it's by. It doesn't say who it's by, but it's cool. Um, look at this. Look at this cool pattern. Oh, this is cool too. Look at that evening dress. You guys see that? That white evening dress? How cool. I'm starting to really like the 70s. You know, having lived through them, I didn't really love them before, but I'm starting to think that I really, I underestimated them. I feel like I, ha I have a really similar pattern to this by C and Sew. Learn to sew. Oh, look. How sweet is that? Wow. Learn to sew. Hmm. That almost looks like it's a knit pattern, but it's not because there's the pattern pieces. Huh. And the wrap skirt. Learn to sew wrap skirt. Oh, look at this. How cute is this suit? very mod. So we're almost done with, oh, another learn to sew. Another learn to sew. So here's the funny thing. This pattern was, I actually got in that lot and it was uncut. So I just put this up online uh, during this week. I had this pattern. So now I have two. A unisex shirt for men or women from the 70s. Oh, this package is not in good shape. Oh, look how cute this is. It's a shame. Oh, wow. Look how cute that is. But the package is in horrible shape. Horrible, horrible shape. Doesn't have any line drawings on the back. And writing all over it. Oh, you know why? The line drawings are in the front. There we go. These guys see the line drawings. And writing all over it. But really cute. Oh, yeah, I remember this dress. An Ellen Tracy. Raise your hand if you had an Ellen Tracy dress in the 80s. Right? I think everybody did. Oh, oh, some of these are in really bad shape. I love this. This is like miniature mod. I just love that. Okay, we're almost done. We only have about four more of these patterns. This is maternity also. This was pretty cute, actually. Also looks like a house dress, right? Like, see this this red one here and this one over here? They remind me of, like, house dresses. All hail the house dress. And then here's just straight up, straight up nightgown with some PJs. Oh, and then quick sew. I was so sad that this one was cut. And it's only cut, like, a little bit. Um, but look at that. Isn't that cool. So hopefully I can salvage it because that's a good one. And then we have the very last one, which is just this really basic 80s shirt. Kind of cool. 
And now all of these are uncut. So let's get ready. Let's take a look at the uncut. All right. So these first couple are the ones that I salvaged that I think I can save. They're uncut, but you can see the envelopes are in really bad shape. There's a lot of discoloration on the envelopes, but the patterns themselves might be okay. I looked at them. I'll show you what they look like. They look like this. Can you see how they're like, but the pattern themselves, when you open them, they're still usable. They were factory folded. You know, it seems like the envelopes got the brunt of the water, whatever it was that flooded or overran or who knows, right? Not really sure what happened. Leaky basement, flooding, who knows? So I'm going to try, I'm going to try and save these patterns when I find them. Here's another one. Same thing, you know, just see if I could save it. There's the line drawing on the back. This one, this Butterick, same thing. Like, it, with the exception of this little bit here, this pattern's actually in really good shape. Um, the inside of it, when I pulled it out to look at it, it was like good. So it was just really the envelope that got most of it. Oh, and I put this pattern aside so we could talk about it because I have never seen this before. So it's a basic skirt pattern. Doesn't say anything about Pendleton on it, right? But when I opened it up to see if it was factory folded, this was inside. I have never seen anything like this. So I guess this skirt is a Pendleton skirt and you could get a label for it. And I was like, awesome. Never saw that before. And to go with your skirt, you have a perfect vintage 1980s kind of shirt that I think everyone owned in the 80s, right? Look familiar. And the stretch knit pattern. I already have this one, by the way. Um, but it's okay. This is a pretty good, this is a pretty cool one. And it's these older patterns, it's rare to find the stretch knits because they just weren't, they weren't big back then. Oh, and this, I think this is so cute. Not my size, but so cute. It's a wrap skirt, um, but it's like a mock wrap. Like it just buttons across. And here's my dog again. What are you doing? Okay. There are a ton of patterns like this. I think that at some point in time, maybe after she stopped being a teacher, because I'm really sure she was a home ec teacher, she was making bridal, bridesmaids, whatever stuff. So there's a lot of patterns like that in here which is fine because um, I'm going to do a sale on them too. Towards June, like in May, I'm going to do a sale on anything that isn't even slightly bridal. All right. So there were two reissue patterns in here, which I'm really happy about. This one I actually sold a couple weeks ago. So I know it, I know it'll sell. And then lots of C and so. Oh, can you see that? This is very 90s with the slit, <laughs> not work appropriate. Here we go. Here's what I'm talking about. These kind of, there's a lot of these like pseudo bridesmaids, prom gown type things. Last year I did that. Oh, and there were some craft patterns. Yeah, you know, I don't love craft patterns, but there you go. I guess these are, they're dolls. One look like, kind of look like a mermaid, but who knows? And then... What haul would be complete without curtain patterns? Because, you know, I just, I need more curtain patterns because I literally never sell them. But hey, let's have a whole bunch. Oh my God, right? And this super cute Jiffy pattern with a super cute dog. This is, by the way, just a circle skirt. You can see. It's always kind of funny of, to me that there are circle skirt patterns because they're the kind of thing where you just get a big swath of fabric and fold it in half and cut it and that's it. But I get it. And this super cute. This was actually really cute. I have several patterns like this that are what I call layout patterns. And so now I have another one. I just don't know if people really make layettes anymore for babies. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how many people know what a layout is. Okay, so this is another one that got wet, but I'm trying to salvage. It is the trousers, which are totally cool, and that raincoat, and it was 
it was factory folded. It was still factory folded and it was stuffed in here. And this, I mean, this envelope's so thick, but look how cool those trousers and that raincoat are. Doesn't include the hat. Hat's kind of cool too. All right, so. Don't know who Cheta, Cheta? I think it's Cheddar or Cheetah. See the line drawings on that? Very 90s, right? And then there's this, very, also very 90s, very unusual. And here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Lots and lots of these kinds of patterns. I'm really thinking she was making, maybe after she retired from teaching, she was making money doing bridal stuff. There's a lot of money to be made in that because every bride wants her own thing, you know? So this is just a basic trouser pattern. These are low cut though. These are very early 2000s. Remember in the early 2000s when we were all, you know, our pants were like basically falling off. A Nicole Miller, a very 90s Nicole Miller. Speaking of 90s, this is, by the way, the dress that Angelia, jo Angelia Jolie wore to, I think, the Oscars at one point, because that is the dress right there, that black one. Oh, look, and kids' patterns, because I cannot escape them. Really cute, though. This one include the hat. Yeah, it includes the hat. Very cute. And look, oh, and, and the little panty things. Aw, the little bloomers. Oh, and some bag patterns, which is great. I don't know why, but I sell quite a few bag patterns. Um, I mean, I get why people would just buy it, would make their own bags, but I also kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I always think of people wanting designer bags. So making your own bag seems unusual to me, but whatever. Okay. And then there's this, this was, I've never heard of this company or seen this, but it's basically making your own bathing suits. And here's all the line drawings on the back for all the different tops and everything else. And this is what size is this? So this is an eight, 10, 12. That's not too bad. So I haven't done a final count on the patterns, but I do think it was like, um, 164. Again, more like bridal, mother of the bride type stuff. I'm sure she made a very good living doing stuff like that. A 90 suit. And then, oh, this one was interesting to me. Okay, so it's very 1950s, isn't it? Very reminiscent of a 1950s style of pattern. Another 90s long dress. We loved these. Huh. Oh, and there. I only found one of these, but I'm hoping it's worth a fortune. It's Miss Scarlet's dress. Ex except that look how low, cut, how low cut the yellow one is. Like, wow. Wow, Miss Scarlet. And then more of these. It's okay. These are all going to go up for sale on the bridal thing. And then this was, which was super cute. This is the kind here. I'll show you the back. This is the kind where it just like, yeah, it's for little, little girls and you just put the bloomers on them and it just ties in the back. So cute though. And essentials. Okay. These are nineties essentials because look, she's wearing a shorts, shorts suit. Do, do we remember this? How many of you remember when people used to wear shorts and suits? And I remember everybody used to wear white hose with the short suits, right? So it looked it looked ridiculous. I mean, I, I don't mean to pick on our generation, but it looked really ridiculous. All right, and another bathing suit pattern, which I don't have a lot of bathing suit patterns, but I'm hoping that these sell, you know? This is the bathing suit. Oh, there's no line drawings on the back. Okay, I'm assuming it's also the wrap. So that's cool. Oh, and more cottage core. Very, very cottage core. So not all of them, not all of the vintage ones were um, cut. More baby. Well, little girl, not baby. Oh, and I have two of these. Hmm, I better find the other one. 
I have two of these, two different sizes of the Tremendously Low Cut. Oh, wow. Hair and shoe accessories. Okay. Wow. Oh, wait, wait till you see the line drawings. Ooh, look at all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, and here was the other retro pattern, which kills me that this isn't in my size, because if it was, I would have kept it. And I know some of you are going to say, you could just size up. <laughs> no, no, I can't. Yeah, I can barely get myself to sew, because again, this floor is covered already. I, you know, I take uh, two steps forward, three steps back all the time with getting this floor cleaned up or getting this room cleaned up. Another bag pattern. I sell a lot of these, by the way, these like weekender type tote bag things. I sell a lot of these patterns. Don't know why. And then here's another one of these. I think we already saw this one. Yeah, no line drawing. It's just what you see is what you get there. And another pattern for little gals. And here's the line drawing for that one. And another bag pattern. And is this Vogue? No, this is Nicole's. Okay. But totes. Yeah, nice. Okay, so now we're into this, this stash. You know what? We'll put the stash away for a split second. We'll go into it in a minute. There's a stash of quick sew. And so I was pretty happy to get these. So I'll show them to you in a minute. But let's finish with the big four. Okay, so... There you go, a wedding dress. Very medieval. No line drawing on the back, guys, sorry. That's just, that's the dress right there. Uh, and this, this is also not in my size. It goes up to a 16, but look how freaking cute that is. Is that the best sundress or what? And it's a show me how to sew pattern or whatever. Oh yeah, there was a little bit of Berta. I think this was the only Berta. And it's this like, Kind of cropped pants suit thing. It's cute. I'm sure it'll sell. Berta, Berta sells well for me. Oh, I think these are polyester pull-on pants, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, they are. They're a pull-on pants. Extra special, easy. Butterick, your basic shell design. Put this in here so you can see that. There we go. And then, oh yeah, here we go. A little more cottage core for you girls. And there we go. there's the line drawings on the back. Cute though, right? So this is like everything. Shorts, pants, top, skirt. A whole cottage core suit. I don't know what this skirt is supposed to be, but yeah. Can you see the front? Right? And wait, it gets better. It has a vest. It comes with the vest pattern. I know, I know you were all worried about whether the vest pattern was included. And then there's this, okay. Can you see the laces up the back? Yeah. And it's two pieces here. There's the line drawings. It's two pieces. It's a corseted piece on top with a full skirt. I'll probably sell that really quickly too. Someone's going to go to prom as a wench. Just a basic jacket pattern. And not much of a line drawing there. Yeah. Zip up and, and more cottage core. <laughs> Even more cottage core. Ah, oh, the peasant skirt. Yeah. All right, we're getting close to the end. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, new look. Cute, right? Just a basic new look wrap dress. The nice thing about the new look is they all go up to 18. It's really nice. All of them go up to 18. Another new look. Slip dress. Here's the line drawings on that. And Simplicity Sweet Memories from Daisy Kingdom. Yeah, definitely full-on flower girl type dress here. Another one of like these things. This is two pieces again with like a corseted top. Oh, the smock dress. I don't think this is maternity, but you could totally use this as maternity, you know? Oh, and this, this is so cute. It's all these little baby outfits. So cute. I mean, I don't, they don't sell well, but they're all really cute. And here we go, more pants. I guess these are, these are more like jeans, aren't they? 
Yeah. I remember this phase. About 2005. Is that 2005? Is that what we're thinking? Around 2005. All right. Basic dress. Oh, it's wrapped. It's like a faux wrap. Okay. So that wrap in the front is not real. It just is a piece of fabric that makes it look like it's a wrap dress. And another skirt pattern. Oh, and I'm going to save. Oh, this is the really good pattern. I'm going to save till last. Okay, and here's a jiffy. Uncut jiffy. And I swear I have this one already. Because I remember this thing. This like jumper romper style. I think I have this cut. So we'll find out when I start really putting them up online. Here's another one. I think we just saw this one, right? Yeah, I well, maybe a little bit back, but I think we just, we saw this one already. All right. Mother of the bride. Nice, but mother of the bride, you know, very sleek. Perfect for mom of the bride, right? And then a bathrobe pattern. Nice, huh? Just really basic unisex bathrobe. By C and so, so it should be a pretty easy pattern. Um, more pajama. These patterns look like somebody had put a rubber band around them. They all have this kind of dent in them. So women's pajamas. There's no line drawing on the back of this one. That's just what it looks like. And oh, again, here we go. More prom bridesmaids kind of stuff. There's the line drawings. All right, so let me show you the quick sew. There were a bunch of quick sew. They were really cool. They were very like vintage 70s quick sew. So they were like the really early years of sergers and, you know, stretch knits and all that. So the ultimate 70s polyester suit, right? Here's the line drawing on the back. And this was a $2 pattern. That's expensive back then. And then men's. I guess this is, I don't know if this is supposed to be underwear or pajamas because it kind of looks like it could be both. There's the line drawings on that. Oh, and this next one, I finally, fondly remember because I had that haircut. See that haircut? <laughs> the dark one? I had that. Um, I really remember shirts like this. Yeah, I know, right? And then there's, here we go. Another great 70s suit. And another bathing suit pattern. Just a, a basic mallet. Mallet. I don't know what it's called. Mallet. Mallet. Okay, so in all of these patterns, there was what? We found one Berta and a couple of the um, vintage reissues. And then there was this. I have never, ever in my life heard of this brand. <laughs> And it is a gingerbread swim knit by Arm. So I, you know, had to take a look at this, right? So basically, try not to not, try not to ruin the packaging. It's uncut. Here's like the pattern pieces, right? And then. Here's the directions, and here's a pamphlet on how to sew swimwear, and it's by Arm, who I've never heard of, and it's like how to put in the, the everything, you know, there's how to connect the back. Never heard of this, so hey, comment if you've ever heard of this, because I've never heard of this, but hey, I have one of their patterns now. Hopefully it'll sell. And there's there's writing on it, which is hard to read, but can you see that? So yeah, I thought that was cool. I was pretty happy to get that one. And that's all the patterns. So thank you to everyone who joined me. Not bad, we did 45 minutes. So, you know, it wasn't the longest unboxing or the, um, you know, most fabulous unboxing, but it was pretty fun. Uh, 
quick update. Um, my cancer, uh, my cancer, my surgery for cancer is, is, has been moved up to the 28th of March. Again, not sure how this is going to affect the channel may not affect the channel at all because I'm going to be sitting around with nothing to do for about six weeks when I'm supposed to be recuperating. So you might get tired of me. Yeah, seriously. Um, I'm hanging in there. I'm getting all kinds of different things done. Uh, this Thursday, I have cardiac clearance. I have to go for a nuclear stress test and the echocardiogram. They're going to do them in one day, so I don't have to take off, take off so much time from work. And there's not much else to report. It's other than that, other than having cancer and going to doctors, what, what feels like every day, um, there's not much going on aside from buying 160 whatever it is patterns. So, you know, until the next video like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you remember any of these fabulous, fabulous um, patterns that I've found here because they're really super cool. And um, yeah, comment. Let me know if you've ever heard of like gingerbread or arm, I guess is the name of the company. And until the next one, I hope you're all happy and well, well cared for and well fed and warm and anything else you need to be. And until the next video, uh, yeah, stay warm, stay healthy. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.